everyone, welcome back to another Age of Empires 4 commentary. I am Beyond, and as always, thank you so much for all the support on the past couple videos and the channel as a whole. If you do enjoy this video afterwards, please like this, uh, like this video, and if you are enjoying the content overall, please do subscribe. Let's get right into this pro level gameplay. We have Wham01 as the Avacid player in the top hand side of the map. Wham's an awesome streamer, he's been streaming a ton lately, I've been in his chat. Um, it's just really awesome to watch and kind of see, so if you do want to go check out um, a great streamer, go check him out, and the link will be in the description. And down below, in the blue, as the Mongo player, we have Below Room Temp IQ, aka Don Artie. He's been a legend in this space. Drongo has talked about him. So many other people have talked about him. He also does an amazing um, tutorial series on YouTube, which I will also link in the description. And I believe he also streams as well some, from time to time. So I'll leave all those links for you guys below. Now, let's interesting to see what we're going to see out of the Abbasid player. Um, you, there's been really just almost a lot of the wings are viable at this point. Abbasid still not in the best spot post patch. I think they might need a little bit more tuning, but they're they're an overall okay spot. In this matchup in particular, in Conqueror and above, it is 50%. So there's been about like 200 and something games played, and there's really no difference. Oh, let me just add this so you guys can see the build orders. There's really been no there's really been no difference in the sense of like there's no competitive advantage, which means it's gonna be map dependent. This map with the with these structures and the trade being a little bit wonky, I would say it would edge on the side of the favor of Abbasid, um, just because it's a little bit more closed off. The Mongols like to rush early horsemen, which here they are. I didn't I didn't say that before I said that, but um, it's just so it's like one of those things where like since there's gonna be a choke point over here, an easy gold, an easy like protection point over here for Wham, this early horseman I get the best value. And the Avacid player has a lot of room to um, economic boom in the backhand side here. The economic win going down, so it's, I think that's what we're going to see. I wouldn't be surprised if we start to see this stone being mined a little bit pretty soon to start getting those TCs up. Because the, the meta right now is definitely get some TCs going. Uh, Castle Age, it, it's usually it's more on the side on the economic side of things. Unless you're in Platinum or below, uh, like myself, and then it's like... The English and French are coming for you in H2 for sure. There's the early harass from is that a scout? That's the early horseman. So we'll be interested to see if there's too too much damage. What did they get out of this? They are 13 short of. Oh no, they already got their they already got their uh, H2. So when them not getting it uh, over in time to really stop much of anything. But I'm sure Wham would have liked to keep um, this going for the upgrades, which, oh, he can barely get Fertile Crescent. So, uh, never mind. He got just enough in time so he can start to produce that really, the second it starts to, uh, second he pops up. So, this is going to be annoying, but not the end of the world by, by any stretch. Which is great news for Wham. Here comes the barracks. I'm assuming some spearmen are going to pop out of there just to really defend it. We have Deer Stones in the back um, for the Mongo player. I've been seeing more and more of this. Um, so it, it pretty much, it acts as, uh, researches the YAM network technology, increasing movement speed by 15% to all units within the range of the outpost and landmark. Um, the only thing it doesn't apply to is siege engines, which would, I think would be hilarious. If it did, I wouldn't be surprised if early on, I didn't play this game earlier, but if people got creative and moved this into like the middle of the map and then just stream siege across the map or something like that, it does get, um... It does do traders though, so interesting to see if we see any trade out of um, the Mongol player or Don Hardy. And there's a spearman to protect the gold line. Pretty much two spearmen will do. Will be able to defend them against two horses. If it starts to get to a level of like four, five, or six, you'll probably have to produce a few more. But two is going to be totally fine. So don't overproduce as well. Uh, I do this all the time in my games. Um, but definitely start to read the room in terms of like try your best to scout and understand what's actually coming at you Because you don't want to overproduce uh, If you see two horsemen and you produce eight spears Those horsemen have been they've already received their investment You know what I mean like they've already been returned on their investment because they made you spend resources that you didn't need to spend um, We do see two more spearmen coming out for wham, but we also see an additional horseman out coming out for 
for Don, which I mean, it's one of those things where it's kind of equal. And we got this, we have the horseman upgrade as well. So I think we're gonna see a lot more horsemen. So I think Wham's making the right read here and starting to produce a little bit more of the spears just to be really safe to make sure. And there's the stone being harvested. Where are we at? We've only had 10 so far, so still early days. Um, but we'll get there. The horsemen are able to, to see this out. Let's see if they are able to pick off one. It looks like they will be able to get one. Oh no, one was a hidden spearman. But as I, as I, like I mentioned, two is enough to hold off two. One does little to nothing against four. You know what I mean? Like it's, it's, they are an incredible counter, but you just have to have it. Oh, the con with a cheeky little pick off there. Oh, this poor civilian didn't get the memo that you're off of work today. It's a real bummer. These taking a moment to grieve and they go right back to right back on the job, which is always tough. You would you would love to see a little bit a little bit more benefit system out of the the Wham uh, <laughs> the Wham Corporation, but not not quite going to happen this time for Wham. We do have one spearman also hidden in here to provide a little bit of a deadline, and there it is. But again, that's not going to do it just enough. And with the con shooting, it'll be enough to kind of end this spearman's career. But as you can see, look at how good the trade is, though. Even though it was only one, ooh, a cheeky pickoff too, because the civilians were already back in the town center. It's unfortunate. The micro is going well there, but you'll take that spearman for a horse. Oh, you don't want these back here. Wham. Oh, they're going to start repairing it. I'm assuming because the spears are in tow, and here they are. We're definitely seeing some early aggression out of Don. Really, really nice micro here by Wham, though, just protecting all these as much as possible and getting as much gold as he possibly can. We do have wheelbar going down for Don, which is a huge upgrade. If you're an English player, if you're any, pretty much anyone, just go for that as quickly as you as you can. In most cases, it's so so good. The movement speed helps tremendously, and the gather rates just really make your economy really really boom. We have archers over here harassing, and then we have another town center going down over here to protect and just kind of build a fortified wall over here. Because uh, none of these are armored units, so none of them can really die at town center. We, I think we are going to see a few go down here, though. And it's just one of the, the costs of doing business. I think this one's going to go down for sure. They don't end up going down. This spear's going to go down, though. And this the sensor is going to go up with no no casualties. I know, there's only been one villager casualty, which is insane. That's insane for all this harass that Wham's had to face. The fact that they've only lost one worker just shows you just how good some of these guys up top are. Don's doing really, really well in terms of score, but with this second, with the second TC, if Don doesn't do a ton of damage with this push and these six horsemen, and this is a huge investment. If he doesn't do much damage, then I think it's going to start to start to slip into the favor of Wham. Um, as you start to see this second town center really start to to, to bustle, we have. 30 to 28 villagers, but we still have just a lot of harass going on over here from Don. I think he, no, there's nothing that they can really pick off besides maybe this stone, but everything else is so close, and this is really good by, um, right, there's no horseman on there, there we go. This is also really good by Wham, that's why it's so important to collect those sheep, so you can get, have some protected and safe food in case this happens to you. Um, I think that's a, a pretty normal thing to have happen in the in the lower to like mid high elo. If you don't get the the sheep, sometimes it's not a big deal, which is why I think it's like it's seen as less important in some in some stages of the game. But it's so so important when things like this happen to you. We do have some uh, some horsemen over here from Wham doing some counterattack damage, which is always nice. Don's gonna pull back this this large army back here, and we have houses going closer and closer to the town center. But as I was saying, sheep are super important for stuff like this for safe food. Um, so it really can be a make or break on how long you can last in, in, a, in pressure games like this. Based on how much, uh, as you can see though, running out of it. So we're going to have to move over to these berries eventually. And I'm not going to have really a choice. And there it goes. Start to move out. These civilians dip back here really quickly. They're not going to be able to take that gold at all. But I wouldn't be surprised if we start to see some expansion after we get a, a sizable force here from Wham, which it looks like we're getting. We have more and more archers coming out, which is going to be great into this composition. 
I mean, not great, but with the spears as well in there, they're going to be able to torch them pretty quickly down. But only deciding to go with the five spears, even though, I mean, there's six horsemen, so it is a good call from where I'm honestly, because knowing that uh, Don might switch it up, and it looks like they are starting to switch it up, and there it is. It's a fast castle. So where is it at? It's over here. The step, which is, X is a gold drop-off. It's increased by 20%, drops it on this gold vein over here, which has already been heavily mined. Huh. That's weird. I wonder how it was mined. Anyways, we're going back. We do have a little bit of an encounter over here. Two spearmen going down, or just one uh, horseman going down for Wham. But I'm just a little bit confused as to how that kind of happened. How there's already a deficit over here. Almost half of it's gone. Huh. Very bizarre. Alright, we have Wham with the counterattack over here. It's always super important to get your own raids off as well. If there's this large of a force over here, it means there's a little is a lot less at home. But Don being um, the conqueror player that he is, reading that and sending and has a load of spearmen back home just in case this were to happen. And a great defense there by Don. We do have these civilians though that are just picking up the deer. Smartly gonna run back towards their protectors in the spearmen. And just going to get some poke off. Maybe the next round, maybe the next time around, uh, they'll be getting it. We have Iron Undermesh coming out for, I believe, the Abbasid player. Yeah, that's that's absolutely wild. We cannot see this. It's a, there's a bug going on for sure, which is unfortunate. We can switch back to the gold per minute to see kind of how the economies are doing. So no gold over here for Wham, but does have a lot of food and a lot of wood. I'm assuming all these berries, yeah, these berries are being taken. And we have another berry patch going down over here. We do have Wham finding this step, which is really, really nice. I mean, just for future reference for him to know like kind of what's going on. Still an absolute mystery as to how this kind of went down this much, but it is what it is. We have another engagement over here. We have now Lancers in the mix for Don. So those are gonna be able to, the only thing that's gonna be able to kill those is effectively are these um, hardened spearmen. Everything else is essentially useless into those things because they can just tank our arrows for days. We have a very nice um, kind of like an army that just kind of spans all all units for each side. Uh, each each one the compositions are a little bit unique. We do also have a camel knight in here as well. No, sorry, camel archer coming out, which will be really great to kind of kite out these non-armor units. But now with seeing those. Now we have um, Don going for Man at Arms and Lancer, so the switch up is really, really nice. Don could definitely do a lot and a lot of damage if he wants to. These horsemen, there's no spearmen over here, so they could definitely dive again over here. Surprised that Wham didn't take the opportunity to do that, but I think he's a little bit too focused on the larger force out front of his base. But these two town centers with a lot of archers in them are going to be doing a lot of work, a lot of free harass, which is always really nice. And there's the archers, so they're just essentially taking pot shots. But this is super in favor of Wham. As you can see, the villager count is 58 to 43, so the, the economy for Wham is much better, so he's willing to take these trades all day long. Because this is all, this is like a huge part of Don's resources right now. And if he can take this out, even under his town centers, it's going to be a super good trade. And a lot of these units are super expensive, like Lancers and Man at Arms. A lot of Wham's army right now is not as valuable, besides like the Camel Archers, but those aren't going down just yet. And there's another Lancer going down, there's the Man-at-Arms going down, and these two Town Centers are absolutely roasting. Oof! Now the Khan's about to go down, there it goes, there goes the Archers, the Khan's been killed, the Lancers are going down, but these Lancers are going to cause a lot of damage because they can just keep diving. As you can see, all these armored units are just getting are just diving everywhere under these town centers, and they're super hard to kill. But on the back end, we do have were these horsemen cleaned up? They were not, but they were able to take out. Wham has seven villager kills more than Don, which is crazy. That's insane. Don's been on the offensive this whole time, and Wham's able to already double the villager kills that Don has. Absolutely nuts. Wham's playing a really really nice clean game of Abbasid right now. I wonder if he's going to go up to Castle Age anytime soon. He is sitting on a lot of gold, so maybe. Um, not a really good way to use that gold besides maybe go Castle, but I guess we'll see 
kind of what they decide uh, he decides to end up doing. The Mongol player obviously already on castle, but Wham making the right call and understanding that he needs to defend as much as possible. Because if he can just get out of, if he can just defend these next couple of attacks, he's going to be the clear victor in this game. And that's kind of what happens with early aggression, right? Like early aggression works if you do enough damage, but if you don't do enough damage, then you're in a situation like this where you're putting yourself into a position where you have to go in. Like Don has to do this. Because if he just left Wham alone, Wham would just completely outscale him and it would be all over. This is the only chance that Don has, but it's unfortunate because he has to dive two town centers full of villagers and archers that are just absolutely peppering. Even though this Lancer's taking forever to go down. Can you imagine in real life that that would happen? 89 arrows to take out something. But now when they do get on these squishier units though, it becomes much, much easier to actually take them down. As you can see, absolutely roasting that archer. There goes the man at arms. And these are not cheap units that are going down which is super, super important. We have a forward berry patch up here, but Wham is really making the most of this larger map and just kind of taking all of the resources it has to offer. And as I mentioned before, this map is kind of closed off, which I think is why it favors the, the Abbasid because this choke point has been really, really pivotal, pivotal uh, to allow Wham to kind of make this stand in this defense. Uh, we have the Camel Archers running back. Again, it's just one of those things where they just have to keep going. It's not a perfect army composition into what Don has, but they're also not fighting without the help of these TCs, right? Like they're not ever, they're not ever fighting out and about. They're fighting underneath defensive structures, which make this a little bit better. Wham, really cruising in terms of villager count, and then you also have the military wing going down, which is going to be an incredible bump to get these, to get boot camp, everything like that, to really make it that next level. The step is moving to the next gold mine, which is always super nice. Um, that's why Don's able to produce so many of these armored units. That um, that landmark is really, really nice for, for making man-at-arms, for knights, for those type of things. Anything gold heavy, it's super, super efficient, as you can see. And the military wing going down, but again, Don diving, diving in just to really solidify his position. Again, I, I agree with him. I think this is the only shot to really kind of make it through is if the, these armored units can get here before Wham gets to Castle Age and starts to take out a big chunk of the economy, which as you can see, they're starting to do. I would love to see them start to peel off over here and do multiple attacks because they're never going to chase down these camel archers, which are so annoying to chase down. They do get one eventually, but the, the value of playing Ring Around the Rosie around these town centers that are just peppering you is not going to be a worthwhile trade, I don't think. So this is looking like it's favoring Wham. Another Khan's been killed. We've seen that little abbreviation about a million times today. And yeah, another... We See, this is what I, that's what I love to see. Don is now in the berry line, and these lances are not going down in the slightest. We now have him taking the lead in terms of villager kills. I think this is what would have been the... Um, he tried to do it with a one or two, but I think it's super effective now he has these Castle Age units. But now Wham is going to be able to retaliate in about three seconds, especially with these upgrades rolling in. And there they are, their Castle Age. And once these Castle Age upgrades come in, I think it's going to be, I think it's going to be GG. I think it's going to be a counter push. And here comes the Camel Riders Age 3, which are super, super nice. And these are, these are just like... Yeah, they're like the souped up cavalry. Um, and we have another Lancer causing some trouble. So more spears popping out for Wham because he has to respond to all these Lancers. And they meet another military mass up front, which is just insane. Don going for a sacred victory to make him desperately try to like, you know what, you have to come out to fight me. Because this is getting absurd. I'm so sick of just having to dive all these things. But Wham almost instantly responds with a group of spearmen over here. They're gonna take down, but this, this tower's gonna be able to take down these non armor units pretty easily. Um, but that being said, the civilians will have to run for their lives in the time being, run back, and run again. And now Wham's also taking out this sacred site. As you can see, Don's streaming across the, and now Wham's starting to pick off some stragglers. And now Wham also has knights in the field these are Lancers as well. So now it's the, the tides are going to start to flip, I believe. These fights are starting to go into one direction. And I will say, though, look at how good that that, um, that landmark is. 
for the Mongols. Look at that gold income. It's absolutely insane. That's without trade, too. Absolutely nuts how efficient that thing is at mining gold. And here comes the Lancers, but the, lan the opponent's Lancers are also there as well. Finally starting to see some upgrades for Wham coming out. Oops, sorry about that. I just hit my desk with my with my big knee. So sorry if you if you heard that in the microphone. If it shook a little bit, I'll make sure in um, in post editing to make sure that that doesn't sound too loud. Now here we go. We have another the same. If it doesn't work eight times, maybe it'll work the tenth. I mean, it's gonna work tenth when Wham decides to gift you nine villagers. Oh goodness, that's not good at all. And the last one will go down. Yeah, just an absolute gift. I think Wham was like, you know what? Let's make this a little bit more even. But we have an army moving out the side end over here. And a oh, they were going to they were going for the wall, but that army was unfortunately right there. And here it is again. We have lancers coming over here, invading over here. We have a lancer over here that was killed. We have another one over here. Absolutely insane how much harass is going down. We have the main army of Don attacking this, um, the souped up landmark for the Abbasid. But as you can see, so much health on that. Never going to take that down off the rip unless it's like really meant to. We have pings going on everywhere. Sacred sites being decapped, recapped. It's unreal. We have spearmen fighting for their lives over here. The main army now circling back to see if they can get them as again. Don is electing to fight under these two TCs, as at this point, Re has double ranged armor, so it doesn't even really impact his armor units in the slightest that these TCs are shooting. Only ones that would really impact the archers, and they won't be getting any aggro anytime soon. And there they go. Now we're gone to the other army, but there's so much harass going on back here as well. Just absolutely ripping through. As you can see, Wham has now taken the lead on how many villagers that they've killed. And... Wham holding the line over here, and these villagers in just absolute dreamland. Just you know, you know what? Doesn't really matter. It'll be fine. We'll just we'll just keep going. We'll just keep mining gold. And <laughs> as the archers just pepper through, we have lancers diving all around. It's still I still think it's looking really good for for Wham because of look at these vills. Like the it, it's just absolutely insane. The villager count is just going crazy, and he is collecting. Econ from all over the map that's unprotected. And even back here, Wham has been absolutely slaughtering villagers. So even though, ooh, that, I think that was just a cancel for it. Nothing crazy. So even though these lancers are doing a ton of damage, they're not doing enough damage um, for what's on the back end and to make up this, this crazy military count. Look at how much food's coming in for Wham alone. And nothing can really take down these structures. Um, they've lost a mass. So I wouldn't be surprised if Don GG's out of this one. There's nothing really to take them out. There's no siege equipment. There's no rams. Doesn't really have the economy to do anything like that. And we're just left with a measly army of four, four, and four, and one lone crossbowman when they decide to pop out. But William's going to be able to repopulate essentially a lot of things. You can see five lancers back on the map, which instantly makes his, his army way, way better. A forward fort, which would be the end of the road. And there are the last attempts at the battering rams. But it's just not going to be enough. I don't think two is enough in this house, in this, in this circumstance. But I don't think that Don has any more, essentially, army to really take out anything. If this fort goes down, then it's completely over. And we have now uh, another knight over here. Or sorry, a camel. But it's just absolutely slaughtering, though. It's taking down so many. I think Wham's going to end this with more villagers killed than not. And this fort going down is means it's GG. You cannot take this down in the slightest. There's no way. And look at how many arrows are going out. Woof. That fort arrows hurt so much more. Those lanterns getting cooked. Wham, absolutely expanding his lead in every facet. More spearmen coming out because they're so cheap because he has so much food coming in. And now using those lancers to counterattack across the map. We have Don who's been using more of the kind of like group up feature a lot more and Wham is going for a little bit of both and like I said those town centers playing a huge role so super super smart by Wham to place those town centers so close to each other it allowed him to survive that early push and pressure so definitely if you guys are absent players and trying to deal with early pressure 
definitely watch this game and go back and really watch each individual part as what Wham did and what the choices that he made. Uh, the TC was a super important part and really clustering and getting a lot of those sheep. Now we do have we have the most efficient unit in the game, which is Spearman, just going at it again, just just doing their bare random to defend a little bit. But at this point, Wham is now also crested almost 50 villagers killed because he's back here with Lancers just cleaning up left and right and they found the, the last remaining group it's 83 to 22 this is the last military force that Don has once this goes down it's gotta be over and there it is GG's thank you guys for for watching um, I know I uploaded the free-for-all yesterday just as a little bit something different this is like a bonus episode uh, bonus pro replay that it's not going to impact the Wednesday Friday Saturday uh, Sunday schedule and next week since we're almost at 250 subscribers we're going to be dropping the 2v2 series if you guys enjoy and you want to watch that please do subscribe and like this video I appreciate you all and have a great night